Greetings everyone, this is Jawar Khan and in this session we're going to discuss about content management systems. These are actually panels or management systems that can be used for um, managing contents of an application. Like some of them allows us to um, upload articles, change Im uh, upload images and these kind of stuffs on the um, application. WordPress, Joomla, Blogger these are some kind of cms actually and they can be used for uploading contents and doing these kind of stuff so in the next lesson we will learn how to detect and exploit different kind of cms greetings everyone this is shawar khan and in this session we're going to learn about wordpress cms wordpress is basically a cms that allows us to easily create blogs or websites that can hold our content this is mostly being used for blogging and these kind of stuff and this is a test site that is using wordpress by default that's how it looks like you can see the post here we can we have a search bar recent post area comments archives and some areas to log in where we can get the dashboard for managing these kind of contents so it's being used now for blogging it's always on the top of this other cms so this is the one that is mostly being used these days wordpress allows us to upload plugins that can extend its functionalities In the next lesson, we will learn how to detect WordPress CMS and how to exploit it. Greetings everyone, this is Jawar Khan and in this session, we will learn how to detect WordPress CMS. If a site is using WordPress CMS, there are some methods that we can use for identifying if the site is using WordPress. The first one is using the vaporizer. The vaporizer will normally detect the WordPress. As you can see here, it's showing us the WordPress logo here. And you can see here, the WordPress and the version. But by doing it manually, we can also find the WordPress CMS. We can confirm that. Some application will show us this tagline here that it's powered by wordpress and another method is that we have to access the login panel like if we access the wp dash admin slash and if it redirects to something else it is possible that it's using wordpress All right, you can see the redirection to WP minus login, or we can directly access this login panel here to see if we can get this kind of thing. This is the WordPress login page. Another method is to access the WordPress directories like WP minus content. All right, it's not it's not showing a four zero four or WP includes includes alright it's also available N now we can see that we got the directories that means it's using WordPress and we also got the login panel we can also check the source code to see if we can see the word WordPress in the generator tag. Here's a um, generator tag here. And it's saying content WordPress. This tells us it's using WordPress. Or sometimes this is also removed, login panel is changed, but sometimes we can still identify WordPress CMS. And that's that's why I, the links being used here 
This is the admin Ajax file. You can see here. It's loading some files from there. We can see this theme being included. So by reading these URLs, we can identify if it's using WordPress or not. Even this format is used by WordPress. The date and the post name at the end. And the theme name after the themes directory. After the WP content. So these are some kind of techniques that we use for detecting WordPress CMS. Hello everyone, this is Shawar Khan and in this session we learn how to identify WordPress version. Different versions of WordPress are vulnerable to um, some vulnerabilities like many researchers have um, released vulnerabilities in different versions and they are publicly disclosed. So it's important to detect WordPress version because if we got the version we can find what um, vulnerability was found in that specific version. There are some zero days or these kind of stuff. So it's important to detect WordPress version. We can also use Vaporizer to identify WordPress version. You can see it's running WordPress 4.7.6. We can also detect the version by accessing the readme.html file. It's showing us it's using WordPress 4.7. And other and accurate method is to check the generator in the source score. That's something that gives us an accurate version. You can see here it's saying it's using WordPress 4.7.6. So these are the three things using which we can identify a WordPress version. We can then search on exploit DB to see if we can find any vulnerability of this specific version. So that's how to identify a WordPress version. Greetings everyone, this is Shavar Khan and in this session we will learn how to identify WordPress plugins. WordPress allows us to include any kind of plugin in order to extend its functionality. There are thousands of plugins available for WordPress CMS. Most of them are vulnerable to some kind of attacks. So it's important to identify its plugins to see if it's vulnerable to any attack. WordPress as a WP minus content directory where it stores its plugins and themes. In the plugins directory, there are all the plugins that are available. We can check the source code to see if we can find any plugin that is being used. So we have to check the source code and have to see um, any URL that includes the path after the plugins directory. Alright, so we can't see any plugin here. That's because the site is not using any kind of, you know, theme theme um, actually plugin no third party plugin included we can also try using some enumeration to see if we can detect some plugins here this will be our enumeration point 
let's try entering an invalid value and check the response so we got an error here now if we get a blank page that means our plugin exists sometimes we can get a directory listing here that will be a misconfiguration but that means the plugin is available there let's try using a default name this is a plugin name and we got a blank page here that means this plugin is being used for confirming what we can do is we can access some files like changelog.txt or something like that we can also access some files like um license.txt these are the files that are available in each of the plugin all right so we got the license here let's try using let's try reading readme.txt all right so we got the plugin name here got the contributors and the version here that means it's using 3.3 version so by accessing the readme file we can identify the version being used see here that's the latest ver version being used here now if we try to include any other plugin like something like test error let's try another name all right we've got a directory listing here and it's using the version 2.03.07 so we have identified two plugins here what we can do is we can include a whole list of plugins and we can uh, um, put them here one by one and check the response we can even code a script for doing that so that's how we identify plugins in a wordpress cms Greetings everyone, this is Shawar Khan and in this session we'll learn how to identify WordPress themes. Similar to WordPress plugins, WordPress can allow us to include different kind of themes and they can be also vulnerable to some attacks. So in this lesson we will learn how to identify those. Basically themes are included in the WP content directory and in the themes subdirectory here you can see here there's a theme directory in this wp content and the verb uh, used after the themes directory is the theme name so by default that's the theme being used and it's the 2017 you can see these in the style css here the, the style CS, style dot css file contains information about the theme that is being used you can get the theme url here the author name the site name the and the theme name sometimes we can find this um, link to the source code here where we can further test it these are the information of the theme now if we want to enumerate the theme name we can target this endpoint we can apply different kind of things here like um 2016 it's actually 20 so let's try it so blank page it's a positive response let's try accessing style.css and we got the theme name here and the other information regarding the theme so that's how to detect WordPress theme. We we can enumerate this endpoint and we can find the default theme that is being run in the source code. You can get some links here. You can see them here. That's the theme being used. Hello everyone, this is Shawar Khan and in this session we will learn how to identify WordPress users. 
WordPress has a login panel where users can log in using their credentials. And if we know their usernames, we can perform a brute force attack against their account to find their passwords. So we got a test application here. And in WordPress, there are some links that redirects us to different posts by different authors that are associated to an specific to a specific ID. Like if we enter a get parameter author and value one, this will return the user with ID one. Now it's seeing all it's showing us all the um post by the user admin. So admin you can see here in the title bar admin is the username with ID one and if we check its source we can find the exact value in the author link here uh, before the feed and after the author we can find the word admin the word between these are the username now if we type author is equal to one in um, if we type author is equal to two we can find the username with id1 id2 but this says page not found that means user not found with id2 we can increase the number just like that and can find different kind of usernames here's an, an other application that is running wordpress let's try author is equal to one here And you can see that this this won't return anything. That means basically the site has blocked the site has deleted or restricted the admin user. So we are getting a blank result here. Now if we type what two instead of one, we can get the user with ID two. You can see here author archive for Tommy Welch. Now this is the username that is being used with ID2. This is the second username registered. And we can also see the username here. That's the exact username. Tommy Welch is the username. Let's try the username with ID3. Let's see if that exists. Alright, so the next user is MHS admin. We can also, we can sometimes get redirected to this URL author and something after after that then we got the username here now another interesting trick is we can simply use the google dorks to do the task what this will do is this will um, show us all the author urls now if we type something like site or in url we can get the usernames you can see that we found two more Sayed underscore one two three cyber servers these are the usernames this for this side and for this side so that's a trick to do these kind of stuff so that's how we identify wordpress usernames